Joe Christofek for HorsePlayerNow.com, and we are going to give an extensive lesson on how to read the past performances in thoroughbred racing. We're going to look at daily racing form past performances, but other past performances are available and you may come across them. Equibase PPs in your track program are prevalent, and there are also many other versions of past performances, but most follow the same presence and give the same information. This race we're going to take a look at was going to be run on July the 4th, 2012 at Arlington Park in suburban Chicago, Illinois. At the very top of the past performances, you'll see the race number, race number one in this case. Next, the racetrack that it's being run at, which is Arlington. To the right, you'll see the condition of the race. It's a $10,000 claiming race. What that means is every horse in the race is eligible to be purchased for $10,000. Next to claiming 10000 you'll see an F with a circle around it. That means that every horse in the race is a female. This race is restricted to females. No males are eligible to participate. To the right of that, you'll see the distance of the race, which is six furlongs. There are eight furlongs in a mile. The circumference of the main track at Arlington Park is nine furlongs. As you see in the diagram, this is a one-turn race. The gate is set far on the backstretch. They turn into the stretch and they finish, obviously, at the finish line. A six furlong race is considered to be a sprint race. Let's take a look at the condition lines for the race. Six furlongs, as I mentioned. Next to that, you will see the track record at Arlington Park for the distance, which is 108 and two fifths. As we mentioned earlier, this is a claiming race. The purse is $17,000. Again, it's for fillies and mares, which are three-year-olds and up. Fillies are female horses four-year-olds and under. Five-year-olds and up are considered to be mares. As you can see, it's three-year-olds who are eligible to carry 121 pounds. Older than three years old, and you're assigned 124 pounds. Non-winners of a race since June 4th of 2012 are allowed two pounds off the weight. And as we mentioned earlier, the claiming price is $10,000. Next, we're going to see the post time for the race, which is 3 p.m. Central. It is, of course, an estimated post time. Next, you will see the wagering menu, the available wagers for this race, win, place, and show, daily double, exacta, trifecta, and so on and so forth. To the right of that, you'll see the buyer par. Buyers are speed figures that are calculated for every horse in every race. The par is the average winning buyer speed figure for this class at Arlington Park. As you can see, that number is 69. We'll talk more about buyer speed figures in just a bit. The main example horse we're going to use for this lesson is the number one Sweet Princess Charm. Let's take a look at her information. Underneath her number, which is number one, you'll see her morning line odds. These odds are calculated by a racing expert on the circuit based on what they think the post time odds will be. It is a calculated guess. Underneath Sweet Princess Charm, her name, is the owner, KF Thoroughbreds. Underneath that, the colors of the owners that will be worn on the silks worn by the jockey. The jockey in this case is Noel Vigil. You'll see Noel Vigil's stats at Arlington Park this season. 81 starts, 5 wins, 12 seconds, 6 thirds, a win percentage of 6%. Next to that, you'll see his overall stats in 2012, where he is an 8% rider all over the country. To the right of that, you'll see the claiming price, which is $10,000. Above that, you'll see the color and age of the horse. Chestnut filly, 4 years old, born in March. Next, the sire, who is Sweet Southern Saint, the grandsire, Saint Bellato, and the sire's price at stud, which is $3,500. The dam is Honor and Charm. The grandsire is Honor Grades. Next, you'll see the name of the breeder, and under that, the trainer, who is Scott D. Mullins. Again, his record is to the right of his name. 37 starts, 2 wins, 2 seconds, 1 third, a 5% win percentage. A good trainer is usually in the 15% win range, an excellent trainer 20%, a fantastic trainer 25% and higher. In 2012, Scott Mullins has run 109 horses with 4 wins, a win percentage of 
To the right of that, you'll see the horse is using Lasix, which is a diuretic medication used to prohibit horses from bleeding during the course of the race. Next is the weight the horse will carry, which is 122 pounds. Next, we're going to take a look at some lifetime and yearly statistics for the horse. Lifetime Sweet Princess Charm has run 21 times, four wins, three seconds, one third, for career earnings of $73,795, with a top buyer speed figure in her lifetime of a 68. Under that, you'll see her record in 2012, her record in 2011, and under that, her career record at Arlington Park over their poly track. Three starts, two wins, earnings of over $16,000, and a career-high buyer of 63. To the right, you will see Sweet Princess Charm's record over a fast dirt track, which is not applicable in this case. Arlington runs their main track races over a poly track. More on that later. Then you'll see the wet track record, which is also not applicable. The synthetic track record, which is, in this case, three starts with two wins. As we saw earlier, that's also the horse's record at Arlington Park over their poly track. Next, you'll see the horse's record on turf and the horse's record at the distance. If you see those numbers in parentheses for wet, turf, and dirt, those are Tomlinson breeding numbers. Any number over 300 is good. Any number closer to 400 it is exceptional for that particular category. 